with Ford Performance Racing. Time for the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup. This is race two of the weekend, and alongside me, special guest Christian Clean. Welcome along. This is a really intense one-make championship. Craig Baird starts on pole. He's the championship leader. This must be strange for you. You spectator for the weekend after a busy couple of endurance races at Sandown and Bathurst. Yeah, first of all, hello to everybody, and thanks for being here. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm sitting here right uh, with you, uh, talking about the race. Uh, and of course, as a race driver, you would rather sit in the car and race on this uh, great street circuit. We'll look after you. We'll make this fun. This will be good. Craig Baird and Johnny Reid start at the front. Steve Richards and Dan Gorton row two. Back of the grid is Alex Davison, second in the championship. He had some contact earlier on in, in race one today and had a, a broken shock, so didn't finish the race, hence why he starts down the back. So we'll keep an eye on him charging on the way through. It's got to feel strange for you here, watching the super cheap auto Commodore and Russell Ingle driving around. You've driven it for the last two events, but you're not in it this weekend. Yeah, I did obviously the, the Gold Coast event last year, and uh, you know I said to myself, uh, I'd rather do the two Enduro races this year. Because uh, obviously I wanted to race in Bathurst, which is one of the best races in the world, I would say, after, after I had done it. And this guy was there too, Alex Davison, finished 10th. And he's actually got big things going on this week. His second child on the way with wife Melanie, so we wish them all the very best with that. He missed the birth of their first one, so he'll be around for number two. Shane Spolin is in the elite class. He's the best of the elite class drivers on the grid for this race. He starts from position seven, so... Let's see if Craig Baird can get that silver Porsche. Car number one, the reigning champ, the championship leader by 174 points over Alex Davis. And there's 60 points for a win in this race. Johnny Reed, the Kiwi, alongside Steve Richards, then Daniel Gordon in that black and green Porsche. Andre Heimgartner, Shay Davies, the Formula 4 driver, making his debut. He's done a good job. He starts from sixth. We get race two underway, 14 lap schedule in the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup. It's really even at the front to the first chicane. Richards is trying to get down the inside. Back in the pack, it's pretty busy as well, but it's Baird who will lead. Reed, Richards, Gordon, then Heimgartner. Shane Spoller, whoops, James Kanduris decides to cut through the chicane. And we might see a bit of that, Christian. These cars, GT-style cars, they're really stiff. They don't like the curves. No, especially this year with the new curve they have installed the, the chicanes. You know, you can't really run over the curves with a Porsche or a GT car. So you really have to make sure you avoid them, otherwise you're in big trouble. Oh, big trouble here for Shane Smolin. He's pulling over and he's done. The elite class McGrath Estate Agents car is pulling over. Qualified fourth at Bathurst in the last round a fortnight ago, but it's not going his way. Craig Baird out in front. The Arvo Beer Porsche with Johnny Reed behind. Have a look at this. This is busy. Careful. That was close. And Alex Davison's trying to pick his way through. The slower drivers. Now he gets through on Tony Bates. But that's where he's got to play really, really careful. He has to be careful, yeah. Obviously, he wants to get uh, through the field as, uh, as fast as possible. But, uh, you know, there's not much room to overtake here. And, uh, you know, a little mistake, you end up in the wall. So you have to really pace yourself the first couple of laps and not doing anything silly, but he's uh, experienced enough to, to make his way through. End of lap one, Baird leading the way. One race one earlier on this weekend. Won at Bathurst a fortnight ago and is on target for his fourth championship in this category. But Johnny Reed has been pretty impressive, but he missed the first round in Adelaide at the start of the year. So he's always been having to fight from a few points behind. Yellow flags on display in the background for that stop car of Shane Spolin, but the top five have really edged away. These are the professional drivers. The best of the elite class drivers is Max Twig a little bit further down the road. There's Andre Heimgartner, the young Kiwi in the Team Kiwi portion. A range of these drivers, you might not know the names from your, your international career, but you were racing against them at Sandown and Bathurst where they were co-drivers for some of the other V8 supercar regulars. Absolutely. The, the top guys here in the Porsche Carrera Cup, they're definitely very good drivers. And uh, obviously I raced against them and uh, two enduro races, as you said, and uh, had a few great battles with them. Uh, a few with Alex Davison in, in Bathurst. So, you know, they're very, very experienced around these circuits and uh, they're doing a very good job. Let's have a look at this replay at the turn two section of the chicane. That's Mark Sini. Getting a touch from Paul Kelly, the Kiwi, who's come back to the category this weekend. And it's right where the car's completely unloaded at the turn-in point, so it's pretty easy to spin around. Yeah, if you get a little hit like this, like this, it's almost no, uh, you know, 
can't really uh, recover from it and you just end up in the wall. The Michelins are locked up and solid and not wanting to make contact with that tyre bundle, but that's a shame for Mark City, the Victorian, who qualified 13th, was 9th in race one. In fact, has more round starts in Australian Carrera Cup than any other driver. The 88 car here of Shay Davies, who regularly races in Formula Ford, had a really nasty accident up at Bathurst a couple of weeks ago. But he's back here on the Gold Coast. In fact, he just lives around the corner down here in Main Beach, so he knows his way around the streets very well. Alex Davison is right in the middle of the pack, the number seven Porsche. He's picking his way through. He's up to 10th, and he's right on the back here of James Kanduras, who is in the elite class. And and that's for essentially amateur sporting drivers who don't drive professionally 100 percent you've got a lot of experience in that in, in sports car racing around the world where the level of competition is quite different in the one field absolutely i did uh, le mans a couple of times and uh, i was in the lmp1 cars like the fastest on track so and you race against uh, gt2 and gt3 class cars and uh, what's a difficult thing in the endurance races is uh, you know you have to very professional drivers but also the amateur drivers so in a race when you're going to overtake them you really have to sink for them because obviously they are they are on their own limits so you try to sink for them and see where can you overtake them without making any mistakes the chicane is interesting here because james Kanduras and paul kelly were pretty much side by side you know about that chicane from the bottle of the car last year don't you i knew you would uh, remind <laughs> me <laughs> uh yeah i hit uh, the wall pretty hard last year the second race uh, where uh, Basically, Jan Magnussen pushed me off. Fair enough, that was the super cheap car where I was racing in this year. But yeah, that's just one, you know, one of these racing incidents. It's uh, just a shame it was, you know, in first lap. And obviously, as the co drivers here, the Gold Coast event, you know, the main guys, they, they're fighting for the championship. And we just want to hand over the, the car to them in, in one piece so they, you know, have a good race and uh, get some decent points out of it. Oh, Johnny Reid locks the right front on the way in in the Hunter Sports Group Porsche. He just set the new fastest lap of the race at 1.14.55, but the margin, half a second between here and Craig Bed. Let's check in in pit lane. He's Tommy Williams. Stefan, you're racing with Jason Bright this afternoon. How's the track treating you? Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. You know, this guy's really good. Yesterday, I enjoyed in the practice, so I will push really hard to, to overtake some people on the front, and uh, I hope we'll have a good result today. And Nick, you're on board with Fabian Coulthard. Is this weather getting a, a bit much for you yeah uh, for sure i'm not used to that you know the, the car i'm driving are like much cooler and uh, the, lots of heat in here and the car is like a oven you know so it's going to be tough for the drivers and tough for the for the driving because the track is need a lot of concentration so you need to keep your focus all along the way you know and it's going to be tight so i'll be all right hopefully after the race and a victory guys you might be able to cool off in the ocean after yeah we are with yourself you know it's perfect. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, the, the French connection at BJ this weekend. Stefan Sarazan, who teams with Jason Bright for the second straight year, and Nicola Manassian, who is coming back to B8 Supercars. He raced nine years ago for Team Dynamic. He's with Fabian Coulthard, former Peugeot sports car pilots. But at the moment, it's Craig Baird, who's just set the fastest lap of the race in this race, too, at the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup. He leads the way. Johnny Reid, the best of the chasers. Back on the Gold Coast with the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup. This is our super slow-mo and the turn two chicane. This is Tony Bates leaving part of his Carrera Cup car through the curb. He runs 12th at the moment. He's fighting tooth and nail with the elite class drivers. He's fourth in class. That shot really shows how hard they're working. Craig Baird continues to lead the way, but Johnny Reed, his fellow Kiwi, is chasing him down. Stephen Richards third, Daniel Gort next. Then Andre Heimgartner, and Nick Foster sixth from 16th on the grid. He had a deflated tyre in race one earlier on in the day. Alex Davison is up to eight from the rear of the grid. Here he is in the number seven Porsche, run by McElroy Racing, and he gets a move done on Shay Davies, who was on debut in Carrera Cup this weekend. Formula Ford driver doing a good, solid job on his home track. Christian Kleen's alongside me for this one. And Christian, so many of our viewers know you from your, your Formula One background with, with Jaguar and Red Bull, but you still have links to Formula One, you've done a lot of simulator work for, for Williams. Will, will that continue next year? Um, certainly do that uh, this year. Uh, you know, testing is obviously banned in Formula One, so what the, the teams do, they, 
you know, they invest all their money in big simulators, so they can continue testing basically in, in those simulators, which is which is very good also for, for driver preparation. That's what I was doing this year. You can't really prepare though for a right rear puncture like Nick Foster's got here. The money choice Porsche has had a tough weekend. Failed to finish race one and has got a right rear puncture. And I reckon he's had contact as well that's cut down on that mission and he's going to park the Elf car off to the side at the turn two chicane. Yeah, that's one of the things you have to be super careful with these walls. Obviously, you know, try to maximize every lap, go as close as possible to the to the walls to just uh, use all the track. But uh, you know, that's that's the downside. You hit the wall, you have a tire punch, and that's the end of the race. We might check in again. Tommy Williams in pit lane. Simon Paccio, you're racing with Lee Holdsworth. How are you finding this track? Uh, it's a beautiful racetrack. I've been here in, uh, in Chamco with Team Australia in 2007. Uh, it was one of my best experiences on the racetrack and uh, was here with Lee last year. We, uh, we had a podium, so hopefully we can repeat. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful event. Success last year. It must be nice to be back. Yeah, it's nice to be back. It's uh, a lot less stressful the second time, I have to say. I don't have the stomach as cramped before the start. Uh, we've got good expectation. I think we've got a really good car, so uh, in the race we're going to move our way forward. and. Uh, Hopefully we have a, a decent finish. Jerome, you had some success up in Bathurst in the Carrera Cup. Well done. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it was a great time there. Obviously also a great track and my first time to see the V8s uh, race real time, uh, live. So it was really good uh, to live up to this race uh, being there. You're racing with Shane Van Gisberg and how is this heat affecting you? Well, we got uh, a lot of things to help us, like uh, cool, cool suits and uh, an air conditioning system, a helmet blower, so uh, it's not too bad, but uh, for sure, yeah, we're going to sweat a little bit. It's a little bit cooler where you guys come from right now, isn't it? Yeah, the winter's just starting, so we're happy to be here. All right, guys, enjoy the afternoon. Thank you. Yeah, your road was a gun at Bathurst a couple of weeks ago. You drove the guest car in this series, the, the Porsche Carrera Cup, but since then, while we had a weekend off between races, he went to jumped on a plane and went back to Spain for the Blancpain Endurance Series and then came back here this weekend for the Gold Coast. I want his frequent flyer points. They'd be pretty impressive, I reckon. This is the replay of the right rear of the Money Choice car of Nick Foster. And it doesn't matter whether it's in real time or slow-mo, it's bad news for him. He's out of the race and it's his second retirement of the weekend. So a real shame for the guy who finished third in Formula Ford last year. But you can just see the heat being generated as it cuts in underneath the guard. Here's Craig Baird, the four man in Porsche Carrera Cup. He and Johnny Reid have cleared away from Steve Richards. We saw Richo in action in the Enduros with Mark Winterbottom. Daniel Gord here in the Sky Sands Porsche. Some backing from Bottolo this week. Anything on Bottolo? There's a link there. David Reynolds obviously drives that car. They're housemates. That's the link between those two. They're two of the dangerous duo of Australian motor racing. And he's hanging on here from young Andre Heimgart, the young teenager who made a really good fist of it in Carrera Cup this year. First time in. A couple of laps to go in this Carrera Cup. race. got one more round for the year at the Sydney Tusker 500, but Christian, a pretty not busy weekend for you. You've got a, a chance to sit down and relax and watch the race this afternoon. Who's someone that you think might surprise our viewers who may not have seen some of these co-drivers race? Who's a name that we should look for? Um, I think... Uh, Obviously, first of all, the first question, I have a pretty quiet weekend, that's right, but it's not the worst place to have a quiet weekend up here at the Gold Coast. Our friend is just a balcony next to the circuit, so I can relax up there, which is good. The other thing is, uh, I think uh, Nick Heitwell did pretty well in the Bob Low car. He was uh, pretty fast in the, in the free practice sessions. Um, I know him, obviously, he was my teammate at BMW in Formula One times, and uh, he's for sure a good driver, but there are definitely more drivers out there to surprise us, and especially guys who have been here the set for a second or third time. Once you get your head around how to drive this car, it helps a lot, and, uh, you know, certainly uh, find the limits much better. The limits are being pushed here. In, oh, another one at the chicane, Ray Angus has spun. Now, how hard has he hit that tie wall, if at all? He's giving up. He's not even going to try to get back going again. He heads back to the gap in the concrete wall. So we've lost a couple of cars in this career cup race. The pace has just been a little bit too much. We're back on board with Alex Davison in sixth spot in the McElroy Racing Phase 8 Porsche. Got a fair big gap to Andre Heimgartner. So what we might do is crank this thing up and have a listen to 450 horsepower 
of Carrera Cup Porsche GT3911 on the streets of the Gold Coast. This is how the free Porsche of Ray Angus ended up in the tyre wall. Again, those curves on the inside that are somewhat raised. Doesn't quite get to them to damage the wheel, but is out of control and heading towards the tyre wall, which is still way better than heading concrete direct on. Absolutely, you know. Waiting, waiting. It's getting there. It's going to hit, and it ended up hitting the wall, and he's out of the race. We've lost a couple of runners, but Craig Benz on his final lap. The Gold Coast-based Kiwi is the dominator here on the Gold Coast. He won all three races here last year. He won all three in the last round up at Bathurst, and he's going to extend his championship lead with a win in this one. Johnny Reed's kept him pretty honest, but hasn't quite been able to have that last little bit of winning speed. So final turn. Craig Baird will rack up another race win in the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup. He's marching towards the record books. This is his 48th race win in the Aussie Carrera Cup. He will be the first man of 50, no doubt about it. Johnny Reed, home in second, big gap back. Another eight seconds to the laser plumbing and electrical car of Steve Richards. Daniel Gortz next from Andre Heimgartner. So a pile of Kiwis dominating in the Australian Carrera Cup. Alex Davison will fight back from the rear of the grid to get to sixth. And the elite class should go to Max Twig. But Christian, great to have you along here. Carrera Cup's been fantastic. It's a great entree for V8 Supercars. We we'll hope to see you back here next year. Thank you very much. Here's the final results of race two. Shea Davies seventh. Max Twig wins the elite class in eighth. James Kanduris ninth. And Tony Bates rounds out the top ten. More from the Gold Coast. The V8 Supercars are not too far away.